Welcome to today's Bird's Eye View by Perch Security. I'm Chris Fauerbach, Vice President of Engineering. Perch Security is the only community defense platform that is focused on cyber intelligence from sharing communities. Having industry-focused threat intelligence provides the most relevant information to your company. Recently, Perch released a new feature in our web application. Our customers now have full access to the network data that our SOC analysts have always had in a similar interface. When an analyst logs into their Perch application, the first thing they're presented with is a list of alerts in the pink box. These are the latest three alerts that their sensors have generated. By clicking on the View All link, you can get to the full list of alerts that haven't been triaged. This list under the not reviewed tab contains high level information about the alerts. Let's look closer at the alert labeled ET policy HTTP request to a star.tk domain. Before looking deeper, we can see there was a TCP connection attempt from a local IP address of 10.0.21.136 to 85.93.0.68 on port 80, typical of HTTP. Let's start by copying the IP address of the suspected TK domain by clicking the Copy IP link. Soon we'll have more convenient links directly into Perchibana, but for now, let's do some searching. Once we grab the IP, we can click the Perchibana link. This sensor is in our QA lab, so there isn't always traffic, but let's start by searching for the suspicious IP address by typing it into the search box and pressing the magnifying glass to search. No results found. I forgot to check the timestamp on the alert. So let's expand our time range to look into the recent past. Click on the time selector at the top right that defaults to the last 15 minutes. Then we'll select the latest hour. Aha, now we have a result. Immediately we can see file info HTTP, DNS, flow, and a few alerts. If I want to look at only HTTP events, I can find one, press on the magnifying glass with a plus sign in it, and this will filter my results to only HTTP events. Here I can expand a record to see more details including host name, refer, user agent, status code, etc. I can remove the HTTP filter by unchecking it at the top. We can also look at file info metadata, much like HTTP metadata. In this case, the files were transferred over HTTP, so we'll also see the HTTP information. Alternatively, if I know I only want to look at alert records, I can manually specify that in my filter box. If I type the IP address, then the Boolean term AND, all capitals, then event type colon alert, I can filter on alerts for that IP address. Alert records typically have payload associated with them. This is the content of the packet that caused the alert to get triggered on the perch sensor in the first place. This is very helpful for digging into the data. I hope this helps for our first overview of our newly released Perchibana. Please contact us at info at perchsecurity.com for more information.